All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Turing Test. Oh, yeah, guys, so last episode, yeah, we went through the secret area and we checked this all out. Yeah, so it was getting a little long in the episode, so I decided to cut it off halfway through Chapter 7. So we're going to continue on here today. So I'm looking around. We got, like, a magnet. I do. Oh, this one we can move side to side and back and forward. All right, so that's kind of cool. All right, so we got a magnet. Uh, we have a robot. We have a pressure plate, orb, uh, another orb over here. Looks like we got some Tom cameras. What can we do with this? Anything? There's a thing down here. Uh, looks like there's an orb attached to a thing attached to the, I, I honestly don't know what this is all about. Okay. Right, let's go back to Eva. So let's see. We have. Yeah, the pressure plates. We have another ladder. Let's check out this upper area before we start trying to figure out what we need to do here. Okay, it looks like we have a little piston floor that is connected to a thing that Tom can do. Maybe. All right. Okay, so the first obvious thing is we have a door over here with two orbs. Let's grab this orb and let's stick it in here. All right, so that opens that door. Now we can't <laughs> proceed any further. Um, so how do we do this? We need. What is that connected to? That's connected over to this pressure plate. So we need an orb to go into here so we can open the door. I think, uh, well, I guess we need an orb in there so we can raise the platform. Let's just make sure that is the case. Well, I can't really see what's going on. What does the robot see? Yeah, it looks like that does raise the piston. Whoa, don't go forward, robot. Um, You know what? Let's leave Ava down here for the moment. We'll actually take the robot over here. Okay, let's get off the pressure plate. Oh, I can't see the robot now. There you go. Robot, get on here. Back to Eva. Let's jump on this thing. Can I see the robot when it's up there? I can't. So maybe we got to do this in a different way. Maybe we got to have the robot be on this pressure plate and we're over there on the piston. Maybe. Uh, can we use the magnet to pick the robot up to swap? Oh, the magnet's not turned on. Where is the little... Oh, it's right there. Let's grab an orb. Yeah, that turns the magnet on. Cool. Can we pick up the robot with this? I imagine we can. Why else is the magnet here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so robot got picked up. All right, so that's that. Let's grab this guy. Cool. So we can do the orb there. I don't know how we're going to do this. Can Tom, maybe? Can Tom see the robot? No, we can see that, but we can't see the robot. If I move over closer to the wall, can Tom see the robot? Oh yeah, okay. So that might be what we have to do is kind of like maneuver around, use Tom to get to Eva and back and forth kind of a thing. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right guys, well I think I figured this out. So we need Eva over on the pressure plate. We have a orb in the little receptacle on the wall and we have an orb in the, the magnet over here. So it looks like we need to be in the robot. Eva can raise us up here. Then we can get over, have access to these two orbs. Also, we have access to Tom right there, right? So we can get into Tom or we can go back to the robot from there. So the robot can grab the orb out of that magnet, stick it right here. We can go to Tom. Actually, I guess we could have just hit escape, go back to Eva. So Eva can grab this thing, stick that up there. Uh, we can go to Tom and then back to the robot. The robot can grab the orb and place it right there. So now we have both orbs in this door and we can finally get through here. Uh, yeah, I think that might be what we needed to do. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, so now we're up here with the robot. We have access to Tom. Uh, we have access to a control panel that I can't do anything with as the robot. And we have, oh, I can do that as the robot. Okay, so that raises that platform. 
Okay, so I wonder if that's all we needed to do. We'll go back to Eva. Is that all we need to do to get out of this room? That might be. If that's it, that's... I mean, it's a little complicated, but I guess it's relatively easy. There we go. There's a robot. I was thinking this could only be operated by Tom, but I guess the robot can do it too. So that's kind of cool. All right, so now we're up here and we're through. Awesome. Sector G67. Ava, you must learn to control him. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, Ava. I am your friend. I'm sure you are our friend. Uh, whoops. So, is there anything this magnet does? It doesn't look like it. I did see there was a robot over here, so we might have to move the robot up using that magnet. Uh, danger, falling, load, hazard. So, we got a gun that we're going to shoot. Yeah, we got a gun right there. So, it looks like this has to go down so we can get the bridge across. Uh, I assume we need the robot to get magneted. Go back to Eva. Yeah, we can take the orb out there to unmagnetize that. So we will whoop, 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 over here. Take the orb out, get into the robot. And the robot can control the gun. Ah, okay. There it is. Oh, it did fall. <laughs> okay, I guess it did. Back to Eva. We have the orb. Uh, all right, cool. Yeah, that's all we needed to do. Awesome. That was a pretty easy one. Sector G68. Organic life is fragile. This is the problem with humanity. It doesn't realize its own fragility. It has been programmed by a messy biological process that favors the survival of the individual over the survival of the group. You don't know that's what people think. I say what I see. You're not even alive, so you know nothing about death. Okay, so the box on the thing does what? <laughs> we take that orb out, that does, that pulls this back. I'm not sure if there's a reason to do that. Okay, I'm not seeing a way to get up to this other floor, and that's what has me concerned at the moment. Is there like a robot or something? Is there Tom? Is there anything we can use to get up to that floor? It's not looking like it. Uh, so if we put an orb in here, it shoots out this piston, these double pistons. There's no way to get through or on top of this. So what else am I missing here? That orb doesn't appear to do anything. Can I use this to block the beam? Does not appear so. Maybe I can use this to stand on? Block the beam? No. Too short. Okay, so what else is here that I am just not seeing? We have the orb that we already played with that moves the piston back and forth. We have the beam we can't do anything with just yet. We have that socket right there, which doesn't appear to do anything. We have the pressure plate, which also... Doesn't appear to do anything. Aha! That's what I was missing. Over there is a little socket where we can pull an orb out of. Yeah, and that slides this over here. Now we can push that back, and now we go across, which disables this beam. What does that do? Okay, that retracts that piston. And that piston over there. Okay, I think I see what we need to do. Um, I need that box again. That box is what's gonna break the beam and then we can remove this and place this one back to send the cart over. Let's uh, take this out. All right, we'll go back over. Okay, so that'll stop, or that'll uh, lower the pistons. And then we can pull this orb out to raise the pistons again. Put that there to get a path across. 
And then finally, we need a way for that to be on. Wait. Oh, that's on already because we knocked the thing off. Really? I just solved this puzzle accidentally. <laughs> yeah, so since that... Yeah, the box was on the moving platform and we pushed the piston out. That pushed the box onto the pressure pad down there. Cool. All right. Well, accidental solving is better than not solving at all. Sector G69. We have to save the crew. Life has worth. They deserve a life outside of this planet. Do you know what happens when this organism attaches itself to a growing child? Do you know what happens when this organism attaches itself to a cancerous cell? No, you do not. You are naive. You propose saving the crew as if it resembles a rational thought. Your words are emotional platitudes rooted in selfishness, self-preservation and fear. I need to get them home. It is not your job. It's not our job to get the crew home. Hmm. All right, so we need two orbs to get through this door and that looks like the exit, I think. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I can't get through there. Uh, so we have a light bridge here that probably needs power from somewhere so we can get across. Uh, if we go back through here, the sticks is back the way we came, right? So we need an orb here for moving this platform back and forth. And an orb here to open that door. So somewhere else there's got to be another orb that I just didn't see, right? Alright, let's go take a look through this one more time. So we have the orb here that opens that door. Is there any other orb or box or something? It doesn't look like it. Uh, is there a way to get to this orb from somewhere else? I guess if we walk out here somehow, we could get access to this one. So how do we get over there? Uh, that... There's a box over here. All right, so we need to move this platform all the way over. Oh, there's an orb right here. Of course there is. All right, so we can do this. Whoa, that goes fast. That'll give us access to this orb. And this box. I don't think we need in that room for anything else. Um, okay. Guess we can put the box there and we'll take two orbs with us. Oh, you know what? We do need the box, don't we? Yeah, we need that box so we can... Okay. I think I see what we have to do. Uh, that box needs to be one of these orbs. Mm-hmm. We'll do that. We'll stick the box over here. We'll put an orb back. We'll grab this one. Oh, how do we do that? Mm. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> Try to work this through. So if we have an orb down there, we need to place an orb here to get this orb, right? How can we go back through to where we were unless we have one of those orbs that kind of like dissipate their charge okay let's just work with what we have here now yeah i think we're gonna need one of those orbs that kind of like dissipates their charge in order to proceed um Yeah, how do we get through this area? I guess we jump down here. There it is. Uh, all right, so we need to swap back to a regular orb. We'll shoot this one here, then we should be able to grab this one. 
That'll bring us back. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got it. We got it. Uh, probably grab this one. I don't know if we need that orb again. <laughs> Hopefully we don't. Is that it? I think that was it. Okay, cool. Sector G70. Ava, your survival is of small importance compared with the survival of humanity as we know it. All right. So what do we have here? There's like a lot of stuff going on. We have a conveyor belt. We have a light that we need to break for some reason. We have a capacitor, which turns on the magnet. Okay, we have a box here, a spot for an orb. Magnet, we can only move back and forth. There's a spot right there for an orb as well. Well, that spot right there has an orb. Okay, that activates and deactivates the conveyor. Uh, to get through here, we need to power whatever that wire is. All right, let's go up one more level. Let's see what's up here. Well, there's a thing there. We need a robot, I guess, to flip that switch to activate that wire wherever that wire goes. All right. So I think the first thing we need to do is to get through this door. And I don't know if we need to do that as the robot or as Eva. So I guess we'll just stand here. And we'll use the robot to get through the door. Oh, you know what? We can't. Oh, man. How are we going to do this? So is there a hole in the window? There kind of is. All right, let's just put the robot through. Can the robot see Eva? No. So now we can't get back to the robot if we do that. Maybe the robot does have to go stand on the pressure plate instead of us. We can try that. Okay, now we're here. We can go up this way. Ah, we can get back to the robot so we can move it onto pressure plate if we need to. Yeah, it does look like the robot has to come up here somehow because the robot has to flip that lever. So how do we get it to do that? We have access to Tom. All right, guys. Well, this one took a little bit of thinking. We need the robot to get up these stairs over here and to flip that switch to open the door. And it doesn't really appear that there's a good way to do that. <laughs> At first glance anyway, but after sitting here looking at all the different pieces to this puzzle, figuring out, yeah, we have a conveyor belt. I tried putting the box down there and spinning that around and sure enough, that breaks the beam, but that's really not what we want to have happen. What we want is uh, Ava down here. Ava's gonna block the beam for the robot. Yeah, so right now the, the box is being magnetized above the pressure plate. Uh, this door over here is open so the robot can freely go through there into this room, but when this beam gets broken, the box falls, both doors reverse state, so this one closes, the other one opens, and then we can get through over to here, right? Yeah, but we need it for the robot. So what we need to do is come down here and then jump into the robot. Whoop, jump in, jump into the robot. Yep, yeah, there it is. So the box will fall. Yeah, okay. So now I just gotta wait for Eva to go around the, the conveyor belt once. This door should open. I think that's all we need to do here. But yeah, there's definitely more like outside of the box kind of thinking to get this one done. It took me a minute to figure out <laughs> what it is that we had to do here. But yeah, sure enough, that's all it is. Okay, cool. So yeah, we have access to get back to Eva. There's a ladder right here. Oh. I think that opens the door. Yeah, this door is now open. Cool. So that was that puzzle. I do like this one. It definitely made you think a little bit. It has this orb in the center that stops and starts the conveyor belt for some reason. I'm not sure what that's for. It's got this orb thing over here, which I never even tried. Oh, that. Oh, that's another way to power the magnet, I suppose. Okay, well, that would have worked too. <laughs> I liked my way down here a little bit better. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue on. Looks like we're done with this area. Oh, and we are done with chapter seven.
All right, guys. Well, that's it for this episode of the Turing Test. Yeah, we just finished Chapter 7. I was expecting, like, another, like, story area after we finished the last puzzle. Like, we've seen pretty much every other uh, chapter before, but not this one. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.